I like it. All right. This was great work, everyone, really. Um, I'll make sure that this episode airs today. As for the rest of you, um, feel free to take the day off. What? What's wrong? Uh, that's just it. Nothing is. Yeah, are you sure Danielle isn't going to recancel us? Nope, she's happy with everything so far. Is the movie not about to run out of money? Uh, we're not doing another movie, so no. But but is the universe not about to come to a terrible end and, and DTF is the only one who can save it? Guys, really, everything's fine. The episode's finished, the show's staying on the air, we're not doing another movie, and as far as I can tell, the fabric of space-time is stable. Really, you guys can take the day off, go home. Oh, hey Benji, uh, what are you doing for your break? Uh, I don't know, I'm probably gonna call my parents. I haven't talked to them in a while. They probably think I'm dead. Oh, um, well, if you're not busy later, I'm going to this party thing, and I was just wondering if- Hey you guys, could... what are you talking about? Uh, nothing. We were just talking about what we're gonna do with our day off. Oh. Aren't you guys a little curious as to what I'm gonna do with my day off? No, I think we're good, actually. Yeah, good luck with whatever weird thing you're gonna be doing. Okay, can do. Hello, boss. Uh, I'm sorry I'm running a little bit late to the office today. It's just, uh... Wait. What? You, you want me to come in tomorrow, but... But, sir, I told you I need my Wednesdays off. I have, a. Uh, I have something I do then. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I, I know you pay me fairly well, but I... Just, I, I like doing this thing, and I... I need my Wednesdays off, sir. I'm sorry you feel that way about that, sir, but... Okay. Okay, I'll be in there tomorrow. Bye.
hey, hey, honey. Uh, thinking about doing something really, really stupid. Uh, thinking about quitting my job. I mean, as junior sales associate, uh, they pay me well, and I couldn't imagine having a better job, but just, I think I may love down the film more. I mean, sure, I do some stupid stuff for them, and sure, they laugh at me a few times, but I feel like I belong there. I mean, I'm sorry, I just, I need to know that you're okay with this decision. Oh, honey, you know what to say. Thank you. I really, really needed that. I love you. I'll see you when I get home. Bye. <sighs> Listen, I don't know who told you otherwise, but conspiracy theories aren't always true. They're just theories. All I'm trying to say is JFK's assassination was carried out by the Democrats to create sympathy for their cause. Look, I know you think I'm an idiot, but I did cross-reference my sources. I just need the evidence to prove it. Whatever you have planned, I don't want to be a part of it. Not after last time. All right, I admit, sometimes I can get a little carried away. But it's not like you were doing anything today anyways. Look, just because Jake gave us the day off doesn't mean I don't have anything to do. Well, yeah, I, I bought a new book, and, and I was going to clean my place. And, you know, Grandma could use a visit in the elderly home, you know? I can promise there won't be any danger, and I'll give you a tenth of the credit when I publish my findings. You're the best assistant I've ever had. I can't do this without you. If you weren't there, I would have died in Istanbul. Because of you, I'm the world's best. Okay, I'll do it. After all, a tenth is better than an honorable mention. All right, enough lollygagging. There's a lot to do and not a lot of day. Let's get moving. Wait, I never asked what we're doing? No, just no. We can't do this. Not only is it legal, it's just immoral. The morality is irrelevant. And nobody's going to question our methods when we finally solve this murder. How can we be sure that this unmarked grave in an open field is Lyndon B. Johnson's? Do you really think Lady Bird would be foolish enough to bury his body in that memorial? Her journal led me to this place. Those pages spoke fondly of... Jumbo. Jumbo? That's what he called his number. Why do we need to dig him up, anyway? I mean, what would Johnson have that would link him to Kennedy? And even if he did have it, why would he take it to his grave with him? It was a way to hide it from Nixon and the rest of the commies. Not to vindicate Nixon, but I'm pretty damn sure- Austin, you always harp on the details. It's the bigger picture you're missing. If there is evidence, there's only one way we're gonna find out. Get digging. Okay, let's think this through. If your hunch is right, and I don't know, the gun that killed Kennedy is down there, who do we report it to? The police? The government? I mean, how far up does this go, Josh? The president's a Democrat, the media's liberal, and the last guy to tattle on the government is still stuck in Russia. It's always the Russians. I'm not leaving until I dig up this grave, am I? Well, I hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Hey, Josh, you ever play Minesweeper? I played Risk, but that don't make me Napoleon. What do I do? Dig around it. I can't move. You're not even trying. Damn straight, not for 10%. That number is non-negotiable and you know it. 50. 11. 25. 10 and a half. That's less than 11. You should have gone with 11. 15, man. Come on, I'm begging you. All right, I can do 12, but only because I know you for so long. 12 and I'm in the headline. Deal. Oh, God, make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, God. What, what do you mean you don't know how? It's your car. Uh, you better watch yourself. Damn, calm down. It's gonna be your fault when someone calls the Pope on us anyway. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. What? Wait, wait.
wait a minute, wait a minute. Where the hell are we? Is this cemetery? Dang it, I thought we were giving directions to a junkyard. So that's what the hitchhiker meant by spare parts. Man, what the hell's a cemetery any good for us now? Someone could be buried with our car. <laughs> I once read this article on Kickoff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, yeah, yeah. look, dude, there's a car right over there. Let's just go get parts from that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said I'd help you break into a junkyard. Now I'm missing someone's car. Besides, someone's still using it. Well, they're not using it now, and I need their parts more. So! Ugh! That just probably means they're coming right back. Oh, come on, let's just go back to the junkyard. Even if I wanted to, I don't think I could even get the car to start. I need these parts. No one's here right now. So let's do this instead of sitting in front of a cemetery for three hours. Ugh. Fine. Good. All right, yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, so what kind of parts are you looking for exactly? I mean, I'm not really sure what the name is, but, uh, it's silver, twirly, maybe? Oh, shut up. Ah, see? Here it is. Easy peasy. Hey, I think this is Alfredo's car. Who? You know, Alfredo, the EP of the TCA show we merged with? <laughs> Oh my god, this is Alfredo's car. Let's mess something up before he gets back. Wouldn't stealing his parts already be messing it up? You're no fun today. Oh my god! Mere mortals, by breaking into this Toyota Prius, you have awoken the ghost of Ronaldo Ronaldo Pompadour Hidalgo. When the mob took my life, they cursed me to haunt this Prius forever. Ah! <laughs> And now, with you trapped in here, you will be forced to listen to my in sync audition tape. Ah! I'm doing this tonight. You're probably gonna start a fight. I know this can't be right. Hey. Where'd my car go? My baby! Oh god, okay, Alfredo, it's coming. We have to go. Get no! pull yourself together. Come on, no! we gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. I, I can't go back to prison. I can't go back to in sync! Hey, Renato, Renato, I love your music. Can you please start the car, please, please? Really? Uh, sure. No, we don't! Go, go, go! Who the hell are you? It's always the same damn thing in this town. Faces come and faces go, but this place is like a backed up toilet. It's always the same old crap. I knew he was no different the second he walked in. Suit pegged him as the type of fellow that would spend 10 bucks extra to avoid buying store brand toilet paper. And he had a politician sort of face. The type of face that doesn't know what it wants, but wants it anyways. The case itself was fairly simple. He left his car unlocked while he shopped, so of course it was gone faster than the Merlot at a suburban house party. I'd seen this case a thousand times before, but of course I agreed to help him, because I'm as much of a slave to the routine as anyone else. In life, sometimes you're the one baiting the hook, and sometimes you're the fish, so close to that delicious prize, only to be yanked back into a cold, harsh reality. By some stroke of luck, we managed to catch a glimpse of the damn thing as we headed down to the street, then it rounded a corner, and like a college student's bank account, it was gone. Meh, it wasn't my car anyways.
Out of all the cars we had to steal, you had to choose this... this piece of... junk! Look, if I'm the one doing the actual dirty work, I'm the one picking the car. It's not even that bad, you just need to lower your standards. Do you think I made it this far by having low standards? No, I think you made it this far by completely disregarding anything resembling a moral code. <sighs> Shut up, bitch! No, no, you know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm going clean. Deal with this yourself. I'm out. Really? That's a shame. I guess I'll have to show the police this video of your sick, hot wiring skills. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, really? Give me one good reason why not. Well, you know, I'm no lawyer, but I'm pretty sure the police could let me off for something like that in exchange for some sort of testimony against, like, a, oh, I don't know, a major drug lord, perhaps? You wouldn't dare. I have absolutely no idea where we are. See? You need me. Without me, you'd be hopeless. Without me, you wouldn't get anything done. I guess we do need each other, huh? Yeah, I guess. Come on. Let's strip this bad boy for parts before Sergei breaks our kneecaps. Yes, sir. St. Baldis Hospital, how may I help you? Can you connect me to Dr. Ozida, please? It's urgent. Uh, tell him Jake is calling. Please hold. Hello, Jake. I take it you received your results. What are my options, Doc? I was hoping to discuss this in person, but there's no point in trying to hide it. I'm afraid your condition has taken a turn for the worse. We are out of options. Due to the current state of your disease, Jake, are you there? Uh, 
yeah, yeah. Um, I'll uh, see you Wednesday, Doctor. Good. In the meantime, I suggest you break the news to those close to you and attend to any affairs you may need to. I'll see you in my office on Wednesday. I'll do that, Doctor. Hey Jake, what's up? Hey OT, um, can you meet me? It's 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 important we meet right now. Yeah, I can I can meet. Where? Outside the HSM in the courtyard. I'll see you there. All right, I'll be there. Hello, O.T. Please sit down. What is it this time, Jake? Don't worry, O.T. You're not in trouble. Just sit down, please. You know, I've been working it down to film for three years now, and I never really knew how I would leave. Until now, that is. O.T., I have something to tell you. I've been hiding it from the crew for a long time, but there's no use in that anymore. What is it, Jake? I'm dying, O.T. Of leukemia. Doctors say I only have a few more months and they won't be pretty. Jesus Christ, Jake! You could have told us. We could have... We could have done something. No, we c no O.T. The, the doctors couldn't do anything. What, what do you think you could have done? It's... it's over, O.T. Well, for me, at least. But I don't want it to be the end for Down to Film, too. O.T., I want you to take over as executive producer. Effective immediately. How can I do that? I always screw up, Jake. I t you told me that. Why trust me? Why do you think I was always so hard on you, O.T.? I was pushing you to become better, and you did become better. Hell, you became the best. My methods were cruel and overzealous at times. I can see that now, but there's nothing I can do about that. Not, not at the end. I'm sorry, O.T. I'm, I'm sorry if I hurt you. But the truth is, I was molding you into the leader that Down to Film really needed. Damn it, Jake. You could have told us. We could have... We could have prepared for this shock. No. No, because the rest of the crew will never find out, O.T. And I need you not to tell them. I need you to keep this secret with you forever. Fine. I'll do it. But for DTF. You've hurt me, Jake. You've hurt me in a way that... I don't know if I'll ever really recover from. All the more reason to start today. I called the crew meeting in the war room. They should be all up there by now. Come on, your leadership starts today. Someday off. Yeah, why would Jake tell us to leave just to call us back? Yeah, this better be important. Go on in, OT. It's your show now. Thanks, Jake. You know, I'll never forget what you did for DTF. All right, everyone, listen up. Jake has stepped down, but he's put me in charge. What? Why? Doesn't matter why. We have a show to run. 
Does anybody have any ideas? Lyndon B. Johnson yeah, yeah, yeah. JFK because he's in love with Jackie O. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but then she he gets she gets with that Prince okay, of Nassau guy. Okay, so I know I think I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. You're on the same page. I heard three. one, two, gay, three. And I heard Dinosaur three. Dinosaur sex party. Yes. yes! Oh my yeah, god. It's like on the same page, right? We were kind of we were just like I tried looking like window shopping. Window shopping. Yeah, you don't just try it. Yeah, 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 Because we're not on it, 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 we're